We're gonna check out the Foxberry. I'm not even gonna try again. Hello, some friends. My name is Carrie Jessica. Welcome to my channel. I am your friendly neighborhood, silver haired Simmer, the mom, the neighbor that spends as much, if not more, screen time than the kids. And today is no exception. We're gonna happen to The Sims 4, but instead of jumping into one of our families, we're gonna take a look at our new save file. This is one of my like favorite things to do reviewing save files because I love a new save file. So this save file is from Dizzy Izzy and I absolutely love the name. Like that's just, it's just so freaking cute. Okay, so this is version five and I will say that I don't think it's been updated since growing together. Moo and Mill and Copperdale are now updated. So the only one that we're missing is the growing together. And I can, if you would like for me to keep you updated on when that one is available, I can put it in like the community tab so that you can see it. This gives us a bit of an overview of like what we're going to expect in this save file but I have to tell you off the cuff the sims in this save file are so beautiful like they are stunning and um, I also follow this creator on the gallery because they have um, a lot of if not all of the builds and the sims that you'll find in this save so you'll have to also check them out there. Okay, my hair is like in my face. So there are a few things to download before you get the save file. More club icons is because there are so many clubs added into this save already for your Sims to join in. And I love that because it's one of those things that like, I kind of, when it first came out, I didn't quite get it. It was like, I don't, I'm never gonna use this. Or now I use it all the time. Um, but the more club icons I think is super cute. And then there's some other things like if you want to have like the custom activities, um, you know, there's more things that you can have if you want. And then we've got directions on how to install. I will show you how to install it. Um, I have that in other videos as well. I usually start off with it. It's really, really easy to add a new save file. So trust and believe if I can do it, you can do it too. <laughs> And this creator does not put their save files um, behind a paywall, which is kind of like, it's something that is actually pretty commendable because save files, I, I can't even imagine how much time and effort and care goes into redoing an entire save file with not only homes, but businesses and the sims and everything to be totally different so if you are going to check this out you can also take the opportunity to buy this creator a coffee of course we've got some download options i use sim file share for most of my downloads so i'm going to click a download and as per usual i already have this <laughs> i have these like tabs so i don't forget stuff um I forgot. Maybe I need a tab for just like my general train of thought. <laughs> I have these saved just because I pull them up so much, but you'll want to go to, for me, it's in Documents, Electronic Arts, Sim 4, and then you'll scroll down to Saves. This is where if you download mods, you would click Mods and see all of like, these are all the mods that I use. Um, so for this, we want to go down to Saves. And again, I already have this. If you already have something, but you want to kind of like start over because you're not like, like you want to start fresh in the save, but you still want it to be this save from scratch. You could just go in and change one thing about the number and voila, you can add it to your saves. So now when you open up your game, it will show up. So when you are on your main screen, you'll be able to click load game and then you will see the name of save files and you'll also see their like the last family that they kind of like left off on for you to explore. So let's get into it and see what we have. So first things first, this all looks beautiful. Let's jump over and look at the high school. Okay, so here we are at our high school. I love the way this looks. It looks it looks like a school. You know what I mean? Like sometimes they're almost like so modern that it's like what public school looks like that. But yeah, this is actually really, really cute. Okay, it looks like it has three stories, which is kind of a lot if you are like trying to get places. Okay, so this looks like just like a computer club area and uh, what would this be? Maybe like a little teacher's lounge? And then we have the second floor. This looks like kind of like the arts and maybe this is where the band class is. And we've got art, um, love that for us. We need the arts in school, even for our Sims. <laughs> I do like that a lot because it will allow you to do, you know, skill building if you're like needing to do that while you're at school. So gotta love that. And then we have our main floor has the main classes. So it looks like we have two classrooms over here 
and a teacher's lounge, some bathrooms, um, bathrooms over here. Oh, we've got like a little like gym, a little PE area. Um, oh, it looks like we have another classroom. Oh, this must be like the computer class because this has computers on every desk. Um, oh, this is really cute. So you can have your chair. Oh, I love this. So you can have your chair practice. You're under like the pavilion. So maybe you wouldn't get wet. Although this looks like it's definitely not covering the whole thing. I don't know if you would get soaking wet when it rains. Um, but yeah, this is adorable. I love having a little cheerleading space and a basketball court. Very cool. All right, let's go see what else we have. Before I forget, one thing I do is I go over here to like the game stuff and I go to game options and game play. Okay, so I play with my Sims on a normal lifespan and I do auto age up unplayed Sims and I do have auto age played Sims and autonomy full. So that's just like what I do like for myself. All right, where else should we check out? We have, oh, we have a Lady Ava's Garden and Cafe, or we could check out the Park View Bistro. Oh, let's check out the Park View Bistro. I think that looks good. So we've got a park area and maybe like a little sandwich shop that's in here. Oh, that is adorable. Is it functional like a restaurant though? I don't see a like, Please be seated, wait, try, uh, no it is right here. Okay, cool, cool. So yeah, this is really cute. You could even put like some toddler play things here if you wanted to, that way you could kind of like make it almost like a family park day where you can grab lunch there as well. Like that would be really cute. And here we have Willow Creek and something that's kind of cute about their um, their Sims is they almost have like a, um, like a code, <laughs> like a color code. And I love that her last name is, Mellow Mallow. <laughs> All of them have super cute names, but I love that it's kind of like, like you've got a running theme. Here, let's pop into a house and I'll show you. So it's not like it's overwhelmingly pink, but there is, you know, like there's a subtle pink tone to everything. So if you were in this, but you're like, you know what? I don't dig that part of it. It's really easy to just go into Bill by and change the swatches of things. Um, get it. A walk down the road in Willow Creek looks beautiful oh look at this garden area oh so cute this is a very like pleasing to the eye all right let's pop over to oasis springs um okay this is all very cool uh, do they wear green no red okay everything here is red i wasn't sure because it's like equally green and red um but yeah ev everything is super cute these sims they're beautiful they're just so adorable this is a family when i play in this save i almost always get married to someone in this family they're like the best crime family ever like dare i say goth level like they're amazing let's take a look at magnolia promenade yes look at this super super cute so we have all kinds of like retail places that's a teen hangout love that and peggy's pastries and pies let's go here i want to see this again everything is just like super cute and makes sense it's all very cohesive and i really like that okay considering i can't build i'm always going to be like stand for builders <laughs> okay so here we have this adorable space. Oh my gosh, this would be so cute if you have like a super like feminine child to have like a birthday party at this little like tea shop. How cute would that be? A little tea party birthday. I like this because it's things like that. I like getting out of my house when I play The Sims, but sometimes it just feels like the world is, I don't know feels like there's not much to, to do. So I tend to like forget to leave my house. This is so cute. I think these two here are the owners. This is adorable. I love that little sign too. And I know Windenburg is kind of a Sims love. I feel like everyone loves Windenburg. I like it, but like the way I see people love this world, it's, it's pretty wild. Okay, so here we have, this is beautiful, all like red and green themed it looks like. And we have, oh, the Hills family. Gosh, these Sims are just so pretty. Like, I just love the Sims that they make. All right, let's check out this family. It looks like they have a lot of gardening going on and they do have the like good soil trait for the house. So, so I'm expecting an amazing garden, maybe even like a uh, greenhouse type situation. Great, like that's, that's not helpful. <laughs> Everybody run inside, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh, we're out here doing some, some science-y stuff too. Okay. 
I really thought I was going to see more plants. Oh, look at this like backyard area. Oh my gosh. I never think to do this. Like I put stuff in the backyard, but like this is like a place where you could entertain. Like that's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, they have a cow plant. <gasps> I didn't even know that. There we go. Look at us making magic. Love it. While we're here in this family, even though this is kind of a wreck, let's take a look at the clubs because this is where if you do the um, downloading all of the different um, images for them, it will help with all of this. So we have so many different clubs to join. It's just so cool. So, and of course, like qualifications, if you don't meet them, you can't join them. So it might be good just to even like, if it's just like an inspiration to create a different club that you like. Um, all right. Oh, bad dads. <laughs> messed up with your relationship or children been labeled a bad dad this is the place for you branson is troubled yes but he still wants to see his son cooper again one day he here we work together and give you support to do just that i love that there's a bad dad's club oh my gosh the chalkboard council this is so cute primrose's chalkboard council provides guidance to poor or disadvantaged students over the range of areas including social academic and personal issues these are the nicest teachers in town oh, if you need help with your homework just ask that is so cute okay let's get out of this like rainy mess and to pop into one last place i'm thinking we should check out brindleton bay or let's check out brightchester let's go to college the Brightchester debate team. Love that. So cute. And the Foxbury students. Okay, cool, cool. We're going to check out the Foxbury con condoms. <laughs> We're going to check out the Foxbury. I I'm not even going to try again. We'll do that and then we'll go over to the Brightchester ones too. So these days I pretty much leave in my speech fumbles because I have a neurological condition and it definitely impacts my like brain to, to mouth <laughs> capabilities. Uh, like a lot of times I know what I'm trying to say and I can't find the word and then other times I say things and I might stutter or all of that. It used to be something that made me super self-conscious because I felt like um, I don't know what I felt like. I just didn't like that I did it. it. It felt embarrassing for some reason, which makes no sense. Um, but yeah, I've decided to start leaving those in. And I, I have to say that I'm, I'm pretty glad that I do because it's nothing to be embarrassed about. My brain works differently than most people's and that's okay. As anyone would expect for Foxbury, we have lots and lots of technological resources at our fingertips as students. And I love that for us. And we can check out across the quad. Would this be the quad? Across the place and see the title tower dorms. I like the way they have the, the banners and stuff up. That's great. All right, let's go check out Brightchester's. Is it Brightchester or Brightchester? I think it's Brightchester. When I take my son to college, I tend to go to Brightchester. Um, I don't know, it just feels very like old college like old university type feels to it that I never got to have so if I really could have like chosen an ideal like scene like a backdrop for my college experience it would probably be more like this than Foxbury okay let's come on in here so we've got our cafeteria um things look pretty standard we do have some speech and debate things that we can practice over here and since it's in the afternoon i actually am gonna take her to go one more place let's just go where do we want to go let's hop over to evergreen harbor and um oh this restaurant so oh, love and peas oh my gosh tofu mist i love that that's so cute um this house looks so good evergreen the sims are just they're just so pretty pickles oh my gosh i want to be part of the pickles family um okay let's come over here and take a look at the spruce wood square so we have rain again this game really just doesn't want me to have like the look of things that i want all right so what have we got oh cute we've got a little place here where we can get some crickets and i don't know what else my grandparents my grandmother told me that she had eaten chocolate covered ants i think 
yeah, I think that's the thing. Let me know if, you, if you've ever heard of that. I swear that's what she told me. <laughs> so this would be a really cool, obviously, if you want to do some fabricating, very nice. And if you wanted to like come out here to spend the day, you could also get some food and there's bathrooms and a basketball court. We could do some woodwork. I like this. She's just like down to play basketball in the rain. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave this one here. I wanted to make sure that like you got a, a look and a taste and a feel for what the save has to offer, but I wanna leave lots of things for you to find and explore. I'll put a link for the save file download in the description box below. And if you have not already, give this video a like and drop a comment. Those things help my channel. It's a small channel. I greatly appreciate it. Um, creating content here in this space has been so fun for me this last year and if you want to check out some other stuff that i do i have oh tap on my face for like the subscribing thing right here and if you want to check out some other stuff i'll put some things up here i've got other i've got let's plays i've got other save reviews i've got mc command center like tips and tricks and and that's it i'll see you in a couple of days bye